Hello Pisces, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Pisces, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The next love coming towards you, their feelings towards you. We have the Five of Cups. Their intentions. We have the Page of Wands. Their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Ten of Swords. And the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. All right, Pisces. So I'm definitely going to want to clarify some of these, Pisces, but... I feel like there's somebody here... I do feel like this is somebody from your past, Pisces. Now, I'm going to say this because I feel this coming up strongly. For some of you guys, this is not a love uh, person. For some of you guys, this is like a past friend. For a lot of you guys, I feel like it's a family member, okay? Um, but for some, but this absolutely can resonate for love for you as well, okay? I just want to put that out there that if you're hearing this and it's resonating more for a family, that it absolutely can, okay? Um, but it definitely can be relationships and it will be for a lot of you guys. That being said here, you know, I feel like this person is somebody that you've tried to let back into your life probably multiple times in the past, okay? And it is it, every time, I feel like you end up regretting it, okay? You got the tower to the three of cups, you know, and I feel like you've tried really hard to just kind of move forward with that two of wands, you know, leaving something behind and going off in a new direction. You've been trying to change your life or put your life in a different direction. I almost kind of feel like this person has shown you Pisces what you don't want to be, you know, what you don't want your life to be like. I almost feel like in some ways, you know, everything that you've been through with this person has helped you like have a clearer picture of what you, the kind of person you want to be. Um, and in that way, I feel like it's really helped you move forward. Um, that being said, I feel like you've tried your best to put this behind you or put this person behind you. And you just really fully can't trust them. It's like every time they come back in here, you know, the Seven of Cups and the Moon card, it's like you're just not sure if they mean what they say. Like, and it's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of illusion. It's very emotionally overwhelming. I feel like it stirs up a lot in you. And, and it's like you, you start to move forward and you start to move past it. And then this person comes in and just stirs things all up again for you here. Um, so I definitely feel like this person's reaching out to you here and I feel like you're handling it very cautiously. Um, you have this moon card here and the moon card does tell us, it says there's things that we can't see up ahead, you know, proceed with caution here. And I, and I do, I feel like you are, um, you got the dogs barking and warning here. Like I feel like spirit is trying to caution you that not much has really changed here with this person, but I feel like you already know that Pisces. Then we have the four of cups here. I feel like you're not you're not opening up to this person in this way that you have in the past. I feel like you've definitely learned a lot of hard lessons here when it comes to this person, as painful as that is. You know, we have the five of cups here for their feelings. So I feel like there is some like sadness, regret, disappointment, um, you know, that this person is experiencing their intentions, the page of wands. So I do feel like they're trying to like almost like wanting to like, I feel like this person knows that they've hurt you too, but they're almost like wanting to just like put that in the past. Like, okay, well, let's just forget about the past. Let's start over. You know, that's what that's kind of feeling like to me here. But with the Ten of Swords, I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't last very long. This person may be trying to come back in, but when they get that Four of Cups energy from you, Pisces, it just kind of feels like they're left Ten of Swords, right? Um, where they're just going to end things because things aren't kind of going their way or you're not opening up to them or giving them what they want, the energy that they want from you here. Um, but we do have this Ace of Swords as well. So let's, we're going to start to clarify some things. Tell me about this. Tell me about this tower. I, you know, and I also kind of feel like this person is reaching out because they have something going on in their own life. Okay, they could be experiencing some kind of hardship or, you know, some kind of traumatic event here. There we 
go. We got the moon energy and the judgment card. So I feel like a lot of this tower is just for you, Pisces. You know, you've you've experienced this in the past and now you, you're just, you just see now. Okay, in the past, I feel like you were more inclined to give this person chances and let them back in. But now you have this, this judgment card in this deck. They call it enlightenment. And I really like that because I feel like you've just learned. You've gained enlightenment. You see things for how they are here. So I feel like somebody's going to be experiencing a tower moment from you and this aspect that they're not receiving the energy from you or the response from you that they wanted here or what they were expecting or hoping for. Tell me about this five of cups. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. Like, I feel like they've tried to come back around towards you. And, you know, I feel like this time you're, you're having your boundaries up. You're not allowing them in. They're not getting, they're not able to feed off of your energy. They're not getting the response or the reaction, um, the energy that they wanted from you here. Tell me about this page of wands. We have the hair font. Yeah, you've learned. You've learned so much, Pisces. You know, the hair font is a card of learning major lessons. And life sometimes is. They call this the teacher. And sometimes life is, you know, the teacher here. But I feel like you really have learned. Tell me about this Ten of Swords energy. Clarified by the Ten of Swords. Here it's saying I meant, I meant what I said. So their next actions, I feel like they will end up just walking away. But they're going to walk away feeling... I just want to say, Pisces, that understand that just because they can't understand just because they're not in a space mentally emotionally or spiritually to understand why you have to set the boundaries up that you are you know they're not this person is definitely not in a space where they're able to take accountability okay for why you are in the position why you have to you know respond to them and treat them the way that you do and i don't feel like you're being harsh prices i just feel like you're putting you're protecting yourself you're putting boundaries you're like i've learned and you're acting according to those lessons. And this person's going to have a hard time understanding that because they're walking away feeling poor, poor me. You know, they're walking away feeling very wounded. Um, they didn't do anything. They don't understand. And that's okay. You know, that's okay that they feel that way. Understand that that, that doesn't make it true. And sometimes we just have to allow people to be where they are. And that's where this person is mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Okay. Don't take that on yourself. Tell me about this page of this ace of swords, please. Why is that the potential outcome? You got the seven of the seven of pentacles, the knight of swords, the page of swords. So yeah, you've seen things here, you know, and I feel like you're expressing what you've seen to this person. You're being very careful about where you invest your energy at. I feel like this person could end up, okay, kind of saying some things about you here, but just let them. Just let them, Pisces. Don't take that on. Um, and just understand that just because somebody says it doesn't make it true. You know, you know what your intentions are. You know why you're doing the things that you're doing. And that's all that really matters. Okay. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.